it's so weird not knowing what's going on, like not seeing the news or anything. Yeah. So weird. I wonder if Rishi's still in power. Yeah, he will be. What do you think went wrong, Matt? With Liz? Yeah. In a way, they were unlucky in that globally, interest rates were all went up just at the time that they were also bringing in financial statement where you say, we're going to do all these expensive things and we're not going to say how we're going to pay for them. Where does that leave her now? It's her political career what, do you, over. Do you think her political totally, career is totally, totally utterly gone? Yeah. Wow. No ambiguity at all. There I was sat in the comfy red chair and I felt like I was a mastermind being asked all these questions. Why do you think Tory party members went for the less experienced? Oh, the... I think that is all about how Boris got kicked out. It was all about people seeing Rishi as the um, as wielding the knife against Boris. And so they they decide, decided to, one could argue, punish the country, the entire country, by putting someone in place who was less experienced. That implies a malign motive, which isn't fair but they definitely put the disloyalty to Boris as a negative. It's becoming like sport for me. Just to kind of see what he'll answer, what he won't. Even the old Boris diehard who hadn't wanted him to resign had moved on. Were you a Boris diehard? I was, I, look, I was very supportive of him, but it was time, I went on the, I, when it was time to go, it was time to go. When he flew back yeah. from his holiday oh, yeah. in the Caribbean, what was your first thought? I texted him and I said, uh, you know I think you're wonderful, but it's not your time. The best thing for the country is that you should back Rishi and we should get him in post as soon as possible. I think some people just get very excited by politicians and power. And with them sitting on the throne and everything, I think that some people are like, you know, kind of... I feel like overdoing it a bit. I find him very hard to, to kind of warm to. I, I know what you mean. Everyone else I feel connected to in a kind of... Without having to know the ins and outs of who you are. You've got an economist in a camp with a load of creatives. He's all maths all the way. He uses a different side of his brain. Do you know what I mean? Because he, he doesn't... His brain. <laughs> I really believed him when he said that thing about I'm looking for forgiveness, but the other things that come into play, I'm like, are you? I think Matt's doing everything he can to fit in. As the days go by, we're finding more and more common ground. So that's nice that there's something other than the elephant in the room um, because there is an elephant in the room, but I'm hoping we're all trying to see past it. <laughs>